Hooray, I pressed the right button. <laughs> it's a miracle. I gotta confess. Thank you, Lara, for saying that. I appreciate it. I have to confess to everybody that I'm a bit of a dunce when it comes to... Um... Thank you. So I'm a bit of a dunce when it comes to Facebook. I only ever sort of stalk around the two um, uh, rooms that we have, the two groups. The, uh, we're Financial Independence and Transformation Meet, or we're Transform Transformation and Financial Independence Meet, and then also the other one, which is my guild group. Hello, Elaine. Thank you. I thought it'd be fun because we're going to do this every Friday now. It'll take a while to get it smooth and streamlined, but this was Lara and Kevin's idea, and I think it's a great idea because we need a bit more interaction. Okay, uh, those who pay the membership for the guild, we get to have a once a month Zoom, which is always, you know, they're always profound, and we have surprise guests, and we do all kinds of great stuff. We do Q and A, and that's fantastic. But once a month probably isn't enough interaction. So we thought for those who aren't in the guild, and for those <coughs> also in the guild who like the, more interaction, that we would. Uh, we'd uh, do it here. So it would be fun if you could say where you're from because we have such a diverse group and uh, I love to find out where everybody is, is based. Where you're from and what your main vocation is. So we have, you know, in both these groups, we have artists and musicians and um, obviously entrepreneurs and scientists and healers and empaths and it's just cool to find out what your main vocation is and where you're from, so we'll do that. So hello and good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you're from. Hi, Tina. <clears throat> just saw your great post about uh, window shopping that was fantastic so um, what I thought we'd do so to, to make the time useful what I thought would be the best use of time is that now that we're, ex we're really expanding fast okay so I'm getting a lot of email traffic during the week and often the, tr the, the majority of email traffic is from people who are fairly new to everything trevorgblake.com and, and have read three simple steps and are fascinated by mentality control and how that changes lives and so I get a lot of questions about mentality control and so rather than just, you know, regurgitate what you can already read in three simple steps or that you've experienced in the tools and techniques and transformation, if you're in the transformation experience, and if you're not, you know, learning some of these tools and techniques will one day hopefully get you off the fence and into the transformation experience, which is completely life changing. Um, I thought it would be useful if I use the concepts and tell you how I, in, how I use them in my own life on a daily basis, because you know, one of our taglines is something different. And then people say, well, what's different? And I say, well, we're different because it's authentic, because I'm as flawed as anybody is. And so I need the tools and techniques as much as anybody is. But I forget that I ha I've been doing this for more than 20 odd years. And so I have the habits down pat. So for me, it's, it's second nature. I don't think about it. But for a lot of you coming into this for the first time, it's going to take a little time to develop the, these things as a habit. So what I'm going to do is every Friday, I'm going to give you just one tip. And this is a tip that you won't find in Three Simple Steps or in the Transformation Course because it's specific to how I, I, I lead and run my life. Um, my tendency as a coach is to tell you everything that you need to know. So, so the old Trevor would give you my whole day schedule and it would feel like you're drinking from a fire hose. And so I'm just going to give you one tip. And these tips are really important and you can use them immediately. This one you're going to start tomorrow. And hopefully by the time we get together next Friday, you'll all be saying, I'm doing this every day. Now, for those who are in the transformation experience, what I'm going to say now is going to be obvious to you because you understand the science and the concepts. For those who are fairly new here, you're just going to have to take my word for it for now. But the, our, our wizardry is based on three imperatives. And the first imperative is that time is an illusion. The second imperative is that the brain cannot tell the difference between what is imagined and what is real. Imagination sits in the fourth dimension just inside the veil, and so we use that to create magic. And the third imperative is when we're asleep, we return to a collective. Let's call it the totality. We return to the totality. We lose our individualism when we're asleep, and that's good. We need to, to refresh. When we wake, we have the opportunity to leave the totality, not everybody does, but we have the opportunity to leave the totality and claim our individualism back, which is our birthright. That's why we're here in the first place. We wouldn't have decided to be reincarnated in three-dimensional five-sensory form to be part of a mass thinking. We, we actually decided to do it to have individual free-thinking experiences. And so putting those imperatives together means that what you do the moment you wake up is really critical to how your day is going to go. And so what I've been doing for 30 years now at least 
is the moment my eyes blink open, I say either in my head or out loud, whichever is your preference or depending on the circumstances you're in at the moment, I am. And I am by itself is a, you don't have to understand why, uh, you will if you're in transformation, but I am by itself is a profound declaration to the totality that I'm on my own now, thank you very much. Appreciate being in the totality, appreciate all the, all the energy that I needed to get back together again, but now I am. So I'll say I am, and then I'll pause, and then I'll say I am Trevor G. Blake, and today was a fantastic day. So you have to listen to that carefully, okay? So most self-help gurus, most people who claim to be smart at personal development, most of them aren't, of course, but those that claim to be, they will tell you to say things like, today will be great. Good things are coming my way. But time is an illusion and our thoughts are incredibly powerful. So if we think in future tense, those things will always slightly elude us. We'll have an okay day, but it won't be fantastic. So we talk in past tense. So I wake up, I open my eyes, and I say, I am. And I understand how profound that is, so I know what I've done, and I've opened the door. I am Trevor G. Blake, and today was a fantastic day. And that's it, that's my tip for this Friday, right? Those in transformation know why this works and how it works, and they'll be very excited because I haven't told them this little you know, personal tip before. Um, you can use the same technique all through the day then. So let's say you're at work, <coughs> excuse me, and <coughs> you're about to go into a meeting, and before you open that meeting room door or before you click on the Zoom link, you say, this meeting went brilliantly and everybody loved my presentation. And you say that before you even start. It gets bigger and more profound. And, and, and so let's say you have a visit from a, a difficult person, a member of family or something like that. You do the same thing before they show up. This fill in the blanks, this event was fantastic. We loved each other, we had a great time. Always talking in the past tense before the event transpires. And when you get to the bigger picture, this is what I do when I, I start a company. So a, a real example, if you like, when I, st I had my first LLC, it was called TGB International. And then I got a winning idea and then I, st I, went, I wanted to build the idea. I had $200 to start and I changed the name to Qual Medical LLC. At that point, the voice in my head and my thoughts were saying this was a brilliant company. I was a brilliant company builder. I was a fantastic entrepreneur and I sold my company for more than a hundred million dollars. And I was doing that before I even had the first dollar of investment, before I even had my first customer. And that's magic. And as some of you are saying in here, it is magic. Magic is very simple. The definition of magic is the converting of one form of energy into another form of energy within the laws of nature and under the force of will. That's the definition of magic. We all do it all the time. A painter does it when they look at a blank canvas. I do it when I sit down with the keyboard about to write something. We create something from apparently nothing and that's what we do with our day. So when you wake up first thing in the morning, you've got a blank canvas of a day and it's up to you how skilled an artist you are to paint on that canvas for the day. And we do it by these three imperatives, using our imagination because that our brain can't tell the difference, we create our reality. We treat time as an illusion and we work in past tense. Okay, so you open up in the morning, you open your eyes, you claim back your individual, I am, I'm Trevor G. Blake, and today was a fantastic day. And that's my tip for today. So I hope that's useful. It's great to see people popping in from all the different places you are. So uh, I will be back here um, next Friday with the second tip, and the tip is, what I do immediately after that, and I know you can't guess what it is, but you can try and have fun if you like. I'll tease you during the week if you like, but I know exactly what I'm going to do next. And uh, I do it every single morning. And that's why I'm Trevor G. Blake. And that's why I'm able to coach and teach because I'm living proof that you can be as screwed up as I am. <laughs> and you can use these techniques and you can have a life of magic and adventure and financial independence. And that's why we call this now, this is where transformation of financial independence meet, because this is the real authentic thing. So good meeting you all, and uh, 
we are all from all, from all over. So <clears throat> Peter from uh, Minnesota, uh, now in Phoenix, I know Minnesota really well. It was the first place I came to when I moved to the United States. I, it was um, February, it was 45 Fahrenheit in London, and minus 45 wind chill in Minnesota, 10 hours later. It was quite a shock to my system. So uh, good to meet you all, and I hope that this tip was uh, was very useful. Thank you all.